E. coli is a rod-shaped bacteria, so you need to draw an oblong shape. This is the inner layer, and you're actually going to draw three layers. I'm leaving a little bit of a gap down here, the reason will be apparent in a minute. So the inner layer is the cell membrane, the layer I'm drawing now is the cell wall, and this outside layer here is called the capsule. I've left a gap there so that I can draw in a flagellum. Let's label those. Cell membrane. Cell wall. And capsule. Now for the inside bits. I'm going to draw a few loops here. These are plasmids. And these little dots here are ribosomes. They're smaller than in eukaryotic cells. These are 70S ribosomes. And a bit of a squiggle here, you should make sure that when you draw it, um, it looks like it matches up and you don't have any loose ends. That's the DNA in the cell, and the zone that it's in is called the nucleoid. Uh, oops, I just missed out the eye, pop that in. Label the flagellum, plural is flagella. And there's one more thing I want to add. I'm going to put a heap of strokes here extending out from the membrane. And these are the pili. So the pili and the flagellum, make sure they're both attached to your cell membrane. Don't have them hanging off the wall. Label them as pili. Singular is pilus. And that's it, we have an E. coli here.